guys, welcome. So today is um, Christmas Eve and uh, I decided to film and I thought this is a perfect time to film because the kids are away, the husband is away and the father-in-law is away. Perfect. So I get to um, just kind of be by myself which is a rare occurrence by the way. I thought that I would um, film a quick very easy makeup look for you guys. As I'm aging and as I am going through my life, I'm realizing that focusing on um, simplicity and keeping my look as close to who I am um, truly is sort of what I want to be and what I want to do. Uh, be it with my hair, be it with my skin, be it with just who I am. Um, I feel like as I'm aging, I'm getting more and more confident in being me and finding me and uh, being comfortable in my skin. Um, and I'm seeing the transformation in my makeup as well. There was a huge part of my life where I was to hide the person who I truly am and I am now, I feel like I'm coming out of that shell and I feel like I am out there being who I am, truly am and I'm not afraid to be criticized or be um, judged actually. This is why I wanted to make create a makeup look for you for all of those people out there who are who want to still be be and look who they are but still look put together as you can see I have not done any makeup this is my bare face you guys have uh, people who've been following me for a while they you guys know um, that I have a lot of uh, pigmentation problems with my skin especially under my um, right eye here um, there's a lot of, uh, this is called hyperpigmentation of melanin cells. Um, I sort of, it started to develop in my skin right around high school and um, I have no idea where it came from, how, what happened. I remember my mom being super concerned about it. Um, but now since it's been so many years, gosh, um, it's become such a huge part of me. Um, I cannot, uh, in fact, it's like, a, it's like a friend. I cannot imagine my face without my freckles anymore. So for this makeup look, I will be keeping my face fairly fresh and fairly simple. Um, and my goal is to keep things looking really simple, very much myself, but an enhanced version of myself. For that, I will be focusing on my um, complexion and on evening that out. If you wanna see how I create this look, then keep on watching. So first up, I will be starting with the Hourglass um, Mineral Primer, Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer Broad Spectrum SPF 15 um, Primer. I just started using it. It does a really great job of making my skin look really flawless. Um, it is very lightweight. Um, it fills in all my pores and creates that layer of the protective layer between foundation and my skin. And for my foundation, um, since it is Christmas slash holiday time slash New Year's time, um, I still want my face uh, to look really flawless, uh, but I do want some of my, the areas of imperfections covered just a little bit. So I would like, so I will go ahead and use my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is a very matte foundation. Um, a little goes a long way with this um, foundation. What I really love about this foundation and I also talked about it in my um, all about foundation video um, that it is a very full coverage foundation. It covers really well. It's great for um, especially special occasions. Not necessarily in all um, everyday foundation however when it comes to the coverage of this foundation it has very good coverage but if you do not want that much coverage you can always use lesser amount of product now since my foundation is done the other thing that i will be focusing on is on my eyebrows like eyebrows make such a huge difference uh, they are a frame to a picture so imagine a photo without a frame doesn't have that boom factor so i'll go in with, with my Holy Grail eyebrow product, um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. And go ahead and start filling in those sparse areas. I see all over YouTube that um, 
this trend coming in of almost no makeup makeup so which I have been a huge fan of and I have been a huge supporter of so this year I didn't want to do something really really glamorous I wanted to keep it really low-key the look is not complete without your concealer so I will use my holy grail uh, tart shape tape concealer this is in a uh, tan and very lightly cover my under eye so that was a long break um, all right so far I have the foundation on well, primer on foundation on sorry I just ate too um, I have concealer on and I have set my concealer. I'm done with my eyebrows. If I didn't mention, I set my under eye concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which is kind of a no brainer. You see me doing that in all the videos. I'll go ahead and um, just tint my eyebrows just a tad, just so they are set. So since for this look I want to focus on my face, my next step will be to bronze my face. And for that I will go ahead and use two different products. For, to uh, bronze my face, I will be using um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, foundation stick in Earth. This is a very deep foundation stick. I This is... Um, I took it took one of the darkest shades in fact if not not the darkest shade in their line and uh, you can use this very easily for um, contouring it actually does a really good job of uh, con contouring your face go ahead with a beauty blender and blend blend the contour out the thing with the, some of these contours you want to be very careful because um, Sometimes they set well, very well, and then they won't blend in well. Next up, I'll go ahead with my NARS Casino Bronzer. And using an angle brush, I'll just set that um, contouring that I just did. And voila. And now it's blush time. Uh, for my blush, I will be using Exhibit A. It's a nice orangey, very bright blush. I've used it in previous videos as well. I'll just lightly dab on it and um, tap off the excess and just tap, dab it on the apples of my cheeks. And for my highlight today, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So, Holly, so Hollywood Illuminator. It is one gorgeous highlight, guys. It literally gives you that lit from within look you can go crazy with it or you can keep it very subtle however you like but um, they luckily had this in stock right around Thanksgiving so I and also with 60% off so I went and made sure I get it and before we forget we do want to make sure we chisel our nose so for that, go ahead with my casino bronzer and kind of lightly shape my nose here. And with the plans of keeping the look really simple, I'll go in very gently with my Inla gel liner and just line my lids very simply. I'm putting in my liner because I do want to put my lashes. I want to make this look more lash focused. So for that, in order for the band to not show, that's the reason why I'm lining it right now. And for my lashes today, I really wanted to use, since it's a glam look, but still simple, I wanted to go really crazy on lashes. And for the lashes today, I will be using Huda Beauty's um, Samantha lashes in number 7. These are some really gorgeous lashes, you guys. They are so beautiful. They look subtle, but still very glamorous. So I'll go ahead and apply them. I have already adjusted them and cut them to size for my eyes. Uh, you kind of have to do that with lashes so they fit you well. And now I'm just gonna take a uh, glue, a lash glue, and then apply that and I'll be right back. They seem a little uneven because uh, my natural lashes are not necessarily uh, lining up with my lash, um, 
helpful falsies I will go ahead and apply my mascara uh, to make sure that they uh, both blend well make sure you apply the mascara before you put the lash on we all both know or we all know now that I cannot put falsies just not my thing but I'll do it now I'll go ahead and apply some liquid lipstick um, for that I want to definitely since my eyes are really simple I want to go bold with my liquid lipstick so for that I will be going ahead with craft it's a deep uh, pink color liquid lipstick and uh, by Anastasia Beverly Hills and that is it for the face you guys um, hopefully you like this makeup look now on to the hair the hair I will simply be curling it the curling iron that I will be using for this is the beach waver s1 curling iron this is a really great curling iron, you guys um, not needed not at all needed it this is something that's a luxury item <laughs> I like pampering myself with uh, fun tools like this but this is absolutely a luxury item you can absolutely live without this you can get a very simple one inch curling iron um, that's 20 bucks you don't need to spend more than that but I kind of liked the technology around it because it's a rotating curling iron so it does the job for you so you don't have to take your hair and wrap it it curls on your own and I'll show you in a second how it does that so you want to make sure that your um, this is the clip that will uh, hook on to your hair you want to make sure you take a, like somewhere around the middle of the hair adjust your piece here and then turn it around using the uh, um, using the buttons on the curling iron if you want I can make a video that is dedicated for this curling iron if you are interested in that um, but for now, for the purposes of this video, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this process. So I'll see you in a bit. All right guys, so I'm back from curling my hair. Um, it took a roughly 20 minutes, but I think I made it through. This is what my hair looks like. I really love it. I actually really like this um, Beach Waver uh, rotating curling iron. It is, <laughs> it really cuts the time in half. Um, I really love the curls it creates it's just nice wavy beachy curls um, not as tight as uh, many of my other curling irons so that's definitely a plus with this uh, curling iron it's just beautiful in fact a fun fact about this um, curling iron is that this was used on all the Victoria's Secret models this year for um, um, Victor, uh, for the Victoria's Secret fashion show, right? So that actually got me really more excited, way more excited to go and purchase this uh, tool. So I really, I got it this year. Um, and I have been really enjoying it. I think it's going to be my most, well, favorite uh, curling iron. So that is it. This is my completed uh, New Year's Eve, the simplest New Year's Eve um, Christmas um, makeup look that you can create there are no eyeshadows only a liner just very minimal foundation go I've gone I've definitely focused on the contouring the highlight and a bold lip and it's a absolutely a no-brainer <laughs> makeup so if you enjoyed this really easy makeup look and hair tutorial I would love to see you guys created and tell me if you can enhance this version um, in some way or put your spin on it I would love to see that so if you enjoyed this makeup look please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, and if you want to see more looks like this simple ones please leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time bye